Hi, this is Lauren, also known as Gizmo's Game Room, and you're watching Zach Archer. Stardew Valley, man. Stardew Valley is, uh, it's been a game changer for me. Okay, here it is. Stardew Valley. Uh, it's, it's so good. Honestly, I'm someone who loves the Harvest Moon games. I love Animal Crossing, life simulation games like that, Sims, you know, everything in that kind of genre I really love. For me, I have this, I have this thing where I've collected almost all the Harvest Moon games. Like, it's a lot. I do want to do a video showing my collection at some point, but, uh... I've collected a lot of them, but I've never played through a Harvest Moon game in its entirety. And I already think that this has surpassed all of those games. Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons, Rune Factory, with like the most playtime. Or the farthest, farthest I made it, uh, progress-wise at least. I will say that I did uh, play several hours, I think it was like 15-ish hours solo. Of Stardew Valley, but now my whole experience is completely different now. I, I play exclusively as a co-op game with my brother. It's kind of in our rotation now, and uh, it's crazy. That's been awesome. I think that's almost my preferred way to play these games now, which is ironic considering this is like the only one of its kind that you can do that with, and even that was an update uh, after the fact. And it makes sense because the Harvest Moon and the farming simulation kind of games in general are known for being relaxing. That's the go-to thing. It's like, they're relaxing, you know? N it's no, not stressful or anything like that. So most of the nature of those games you wouldn't think would be complemented by a co-op experience. It almost feels solo in nature. But uh, uh, I think it's almost like Minecraft or Terraria in a sense where it does help to have another person because it's not only is it a cool experience because it is so different for the genre that to be able to share a farm like that. This is almost like my ideal online experience that I've always wanted for Animal Crossing is to be able to share your town with somebody else online and you can just go in and out whenever you want. This isn't quite like that, but you do share the farm and you're able to split the workload at least, which is nice because I can't imagine doing half the stuff that we're doing with one person because there's so much involved even when we split it all, we're taking up half our day to do the routines, you know. But it is interesting, you know. It's not. It's a. It feels like a very different experience than when I was playing by myself. But I do enjoy this experience more. I will say it's almost like more of a breakneck pace than ever before because I think they do need to fine tune some things with a co-op experience and how it works. Because in single player, you would be able to pause, and whenever you pause, the time would freeze at least, so you'd have a breather there. You could sort menus and organize chests and stuff like that. You can't do that with co-op because it's not synced up in that way. So, like, if you go in the menu, it doesn't recognize that with another person. So it, it just took out the feature altogether. So time progresses regardless of what you're doing. Uh, and that includes things like cutscenes, which is where I think it gets really rough. Because the days are flying by and you don't get the, the breather time in menus. Uh, so while you do split the workload, the days are going by very quickly, but the cutscenes are a big thing because a lot of the time you have individual cutscenes because the cool thing is you do have individual relationships that you get to, uh, have with the townspeople, which is, uh, good. So you don't have to share all that. You're able to marry individually with other people and have children of your own all kind of while working together and on the same farm. But having the individual cutscenes means that you could be out at like 8 p.m. and you trigger a cutscene. And whereas it would usually pause the time when the cutscene's going, it just keeps going with like no consideration for time. And even things like the arcade game in the bar that's supposed to freeze time, it doesn't freeze time either. So the problem is that you're automatically forced to, to go to sleep at 2 a.m. You pass out regardless of where you are. And it's ideal to be home so you don't lose anything or, or have to pay a fee for being passed out outside and so that's where it gets annoying because like you could trigger a cutscene right at night and then a cutscene takes too long and you end up passing out after it out of uh, something you had no control over really so I wish they could fine tune that somehow if anything make the other player stop and watch the cutscene or something it might be a little annoying for them but it would at least save you the trouble of like wasting time of the day missing events and things like that I just want to say Stardew Valley, we have like 55 hours, 50, almost 60 hours I think at this point, which is crazy. We've, we've flown through this, made a lot of progress. It's just like, 
we still haven't run out of things to do, which is cool as well. As efficient, we've got our farm so much more efficient than what it was in the beginning. Uh, we're earning a lot more money than we were in the beginning, but we're still progressing different things to where there's still fun stuff to do. And there's still a lot of stuff to work towards. So I don't know how much time we're going to put into the game exactly. I don't know how many years in the game still delivers new stuff. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, I know they're still working on the game. Like they had a new update while we were just getting started on the game. They added a lot of things to it, I heard. So I don't know if they'll do that again as well. But we are in year three at this point, And no, no signs of slowing down. So yeah, this is a game changer for me. It's, it'll be interesting for, for me to try to go back to like a traditional harvest moon you know and see how it holds up because i feel like this is almost the the peak of what the genre can do and i'm excited to see what this creator will do moving forward for sure uh it's been such a it's just such a pleasant experience and the music is awesome and almost the simplistic 2d uh pixel art style works really well with the game also and it's just amazing that one person did everything on this game it was all from one creator uh, so there's a lot to love from this game. So yeah, just the only main problems I really have that are egregious are things to do with co-op, which is a re relatively new thing to the game. It wasn't how the game was intended to be played, so I do give it a break on that. So it's nice to at least have the feature to begin with. But yeah, it would, ni it would be nice to uh, have it fine-tuned a little bit. But Stardew Valley, if you're ever looking for, a, if you're like, hmm, what Harvest Moon game should I check out? Or should I try this genre out or something? You know, I feel like this is the ideal one. It might You might peak a little early, but I do think this is the most approachable for almost anyone. There's so many things uh, for that I'm sure a hardcore farming simulator fans will appreciate as well because there's so many different features and things to craft and make to really develop your farm more than just like a simple thing. So you, you, it's the best of both worlds for casual and hardcore fans, I think, too. And there's some nice characters, they handle the relationships well, and uh, it's fun. It's fun. I'm excited to play more. Alright, that's it. Go to ZachArcher.net for the latest and greatest from me.